Now to Indonesia, President Joko Widodo inaugurated the Pulau Gebang to Kelapa Gading Toll Road in Jakarta. The new toll road connects numerous special economic zones in Jakarta, such as the Tanjung Priok Highway. The new Kelapa Gading Pulau Gadung elevated toll road stretches 9.3 kilometers in length. The toll road is a new section of Jakarta's inner city highway. This elevated toll segment is equipped with a barrier-free road network structure within the greater Jakarta metropolitan area. The Kelapa Gading Pulau Gebang toll road is connected to the outer ring road highway, which then connects to the special economic zones of Marunda and the Tanjung Priok port. The construction of the elevated toll road is part of a national strategic project. President Joko Widodo expressed hopes that the new toll road can boost the speed of logistics distribution and improve the competitiveness of Indonesia's commodities. The final sections of the Balik Papan to Samarinda toll road, namely the first and fifth sections, was formally inaugurated by President Joko Widodo, as this marks the full completion of the brand new toll road. The Balik Papan to Samarinda toll road is 97.3 kilometers in total length. It is the very first toll road to ever be built on the Kalimantan Island. The new toll road is set to push down the cost of logistics in Kalimantan and hence increase the competitiveness of commodities produced in East Kalimantan. Langsung, Pak. Di kita dari sana tadi lurus ini, Pak. Indonesia will produce two types of COVID-19 vaccines by 2022. Currently, there is a company from China that's ready to work together with Indonesian companies to produce mRNA vaccine in April 2022. Coordinating Maritime Affairs and Investment Minister Luhut Bin Sarpanjaitan assures Indonesia will produce two types of COVID-19 vaccines by 2022. Luhut did not specifically explain the details nor the name of the Chinese vaccine producer that will be working with Indonesia. These locally produced mRNA vaccines will be given to Indonesians in the effort to curb the spread of the COVID-19. Other than the mRNA vaccine, the Indonesian government is also pushing to develop the Merah Putih vaccine. Luhut said the Merah Putih vaccine, which has been developed since last year, is slated to start its production process in the second quarter of 2022. In the development of the Meraputi vaccine, the government is working together with five universities. They are Erlangga University, Gajah Mada University, the University of Indonesia, Pajajaran University, the Institute Technology of Bandung, and two institutions. They are the Aikman Institute for Molecular Biology and the Indonesian Institute of Sciences or LIPI. Two developers will be involved in the industrial production aspect which includes the Eichmann Institute alongside state pharmaceutical firm Biopharma and Erlanga University with Biotis Pharmaceutical Indonesia.